Okay, folks. It's like 6.30 in the morning or so. Something like that. And I'm taking you out here to film the aftermath of last night. We got a really big storm. There's trees down. And we're still without power. Since 8 o'clock last night, the power went out. And look how much rain we've gotten. This was dry. And that's a big bucket. So, oh, raindrop on my head. Well, not a raindrop, but a whatever drop left over. Um, so let me start going up and uh, I'll show you once I get to the top of the hill up there. Well, there's a, well, as we lovingly call her, Miss Tits. And right up there, you can see a tree fell from across the road. And I'm walking up more now to see the, oh, there's morning cobwebs. Uh, whatever you call those, dew webs or, <laughs> yeah. Big old tree fell from over there. Luckily it didn't wipe out some of these big trees we've got. But uh, everything's cold and wet. Looks like more came down over there. Took out a number of the the pine trees we had growing up there, if you can tell. Okay. Now here's a biggie. Over here. There's a mysterious gap up here between these pine trees. And I'm about to go see what it is. Check out our peach, peach tree. Little peaches on it. If you can see, there's one, and it's not focusing. Oh, they never do when you want them to. Oh, and little peaches all over the ground. Okay. Oh, and right up here is the culprit. Their pine tree snapped right there and came down over here. Oh, Whew. it hit that Japanese maple hard. That's a very expensive tree, Japanese maple. And it did a lot of damage, it looks like. It's just one of them mornings, folks. Well, on the bright side, a few roses made it without getting, because, hey, this, this rain last night was so strong. You know, it flooded basements everywhere. Roads were like rivers. Um, streams were overflowing. It, uh, it was that bad. It was, uh, parking lots were flooded for a couple of the stores. <coughs> like, um, oh, one of the those dollar type stores I can't ever get the names of them right family dollar dollar general something like that and uh, a grocery store and more so yes this was quite the destructive storm 
Might have been a microburst. I don't know. But now, there's an alleyway up there. I heard chainsawing like 11 o'clock at night. So someone might have been cutting that off of the alleyway. Anyway, who knows? Maybe I'll walk up later. Don't get your hopes up. So yes, a good part of Fairmont is without power. Back there, back when you're getting into the fog in the distance there, those people over there have power, at least they did last night. I don't think anything's changed since then. But uh, yeah, every, everyone this side of the fog are powerless. Business is closed and everything. What a mess. I'm gonna get into something and every time I think of something to get into, I realize it involves the computer. <laughs> Boy, have I changed. I used to be able just to have a book or something to run to to look it up. and I still have a lot of books, but uh, nothing I can look up on these books. So, let me see. It's Almost 7 a.m. Um, hmm. Hopefully the power will come on today. It is humid, hot, sticky, and without this AC, I'm going to just puddle up and float away. <laughs> and that'll be the last anyone will see of me. I'll be a little puddle on the floor. But anyway, I hope you all are having a better time than I am. <laughs> Quarter after 9 a.m., power finally came on after being off for over 13 hours. <sighs> I overhear some damage from the, the storm out in the middle of the bridge and we'll be showing you more along the way on today's trip so stay tuned okay let me all show you during the storm water came rushing down off of that hill and down here to this alley right out in here there's a dip while Albert was down here in the middle of the storm trying to fix the drain so the water will continue on out and it, it goes to um, oh I'm sorry here it is there's a, a gutter down here and the rain all goes down the gutter over here well as he was working here in the storm that tree fell and he's lucky because he was working down this way and for some reason the wind was blowing this way too but uh, for some reason that tree fell that way but uh, lucky for him he he almost got it well anyway as the water poured down through, they knocked, well somehow the winds and stuff knocked the ladders out of that truck. They were all in the back, chained, and it knocked them out of the truck. Okay, let me continue on. Albert says the water was then rushing. He built this up right here because the water was just rushing down through here down through their yard in a huge 
rushing stream. She, he said it moved that lawnmower and stuff there down a few feet. It was so strong. Anyway, we pick up down here. The water seemed to hit this concrete here. Pick up speed even more. Albert's been putting dirt back where it washed out. He said a lot of stuff washed out. And the water rushed down through here. It, he said, took out a bunch of this dirt over here beside this fence. And he's been putting that back in. He said this alleyway was standing, or this patio was standing in a pool of water. And he said from here, it rushed down this way, down this sidewalk. And a side thing, Albert's sister had a birthday yesterday, or she would have been, would have had a birthday. That's the one that passed away. Well, they had a party yesterday for her, and there's a balloon that they had, and it's propped against a rose bush. And surprisingly, it hasn't popped yet. Go figure. Okay, we continue on down here to the road. Now on the other side of these buildings is a creek. And it started to flood. And then water came down this street. They still have gravel on the steps where it washed it down. Here? Yeah. Oh, there's gravel left from where it washed down. Where you're at was underwater. Oh. <laughs> he says where I'm at was underwater. The water came down that street. Down that way you can still see some of the mud. Well I can't because it's too bright. It went over there into those parking lots. And flooded them. And continued on down there. He said a bunch of that stuff down that way was underwater and stuff so yeah and this happened like two days in a row we had some pretty nasty storms anything else dad not really the creek was over there where that dumpster is at that it was right up in that area where that was. what dumpster well you're down too low oh but you can see the creek at the corner of the bag quarter of that building and the dumpster the creek was running through there oh okay there's a dumpster over there he said the creek the creek is right behind that dumpster and it was up to there yeah he said over flooding Mary's got some footage that she can email to you probably of the subway and the cars floating around oh, there's cars floating around it was a mess even the, the basement here flooded a bit. Luckily, not much was damaged. I love that grass, that blood grass. I think that's what it's called, variegated. But anyway, and we'll show you more of the damage. This really isn't anything that you can see, just explain. Luckily, I guess they've, they've cleaned it all up since then, but uh, yeah, we'll show you more. They said this bank flooded right here. All of this. This bank, all of this in here flooded. The subway flooded.
Wendy's flooded a little bit. Right there. Okay, coming up here, this convenience store flooded, as well as the ice cream shop. It was underwater. And this uh, trailer court over here, it, it flooded as well. Yeah, that was all underwater. There's a branch down. <laughs> There's a whole big tree down right here. A whole big tree. What's left of it? All oh, that, that tree came down over there. Up off that hill. Oh, all yeah. Us down through here. Yeah, this was all flooded and nasty. Let's see if we can find that house over here. The tree went down the middle of it. Yeah, they said it. This was all flooded. There's a tree over there. Tree down there, yeah. We can catch it. This here. Ooh. Right there. There's some more up or down. There's the house that got cut in there. But this one? Right or that one? And they said a kid might have died in that? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, a boy, they said, may have died in that when a tree fell and cut the house in half. Good news, the child, which was a girl, not a boy, lived. We turned around and we're coming back down. Let's see what damage was done that I didn't catch on the way up. Now, this tree came down here. A lot of big ones came down. Didn't seem to bother the little ones that much. I guess smaller ones would be more flexible and bent. somewhere is where they think the tornado There's trees came down part of that struck down oh part of that tree yeah there's a big tree down in the front yard jeez This old school had a, a bell tower and everything else. And it just really did some damage to it. And it was still used in yeah. kindergarten. As old as it was, it was still in use. It had a nice bell tower on it and everything. And 
took it all off. Head start. Oh, it was a head, head start. Because this is all kind of built over a creek. Which is never a good idea. No. That power pole, that tree. That came that down. I'm surprised they're open already. Yeah, all this was underwater. Yeah. Well, the creek runs under here, doesn't it? Over there, yeah. Oh, over here. There. Yeah. Okay, there's a, the creek is over in here. And this is all pretty it's much loving. built over it. And there's another tree down here coming up. Oh, there it is. But just the branch or the whole thing? Yeah, it's part of a tree. Wow. It's a big tree though. Yeah. Big ass tree. Part of this tree. No. Oh. Big old branch. The top got knocked out of it. This is in behind our house. There's the tree oh. that down into the yard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just snap that one off. And there's more down here. This whole area down through here has been pretty much devastated by it. The <laughs> there's another one in the back of the yard here. A little bit. This one that fell across the road. Across the road. Into right here. That's a big one. <laughs> That's a real big one. That whole Lord yard. trying to clean all of this up. Over there, that's where they... What? Clean, tore down the rest of the house that burned oh. down. And cleaned it up, and this is where the guy froze to death. This next white one. Yeah. Last, year before last, he froze yeah. to death in that house. He worked at uh, a grocery store and lived here with his mom and after his mom died apparently he didn't keep up with the utilities and didn't have gas to keep it warm so he, he froze. froze to death and on a lighter note remember the balloon well tragically it finally hit a thorn and burst a sad ending to a perfectly happy yellow balloon